We you know, it's funny about books. Sometimes when you read them yourself, life is simple. You read whatever pages you want, and if you want to jump around in the story, nobody cares. And if you wish to make notations or changes, and the librarian isn't watching, you can do so. By the way, I don't recommend that you write in any library books. Your own books, however, are another matter. But what if you're reading the story to somebody else? If they want you to jump around in the story and read different sections or make changes, they have to tell you where and how. And if you have more than a few people telling you where to read and write, life becomes complicated. This is how file systems work on computers, too. In the old days, back around 1990, there was usually a one-to-one -one relationship between an application server and its related storage. But now there are many servers, both physical and virtual, sharing the same storage device. How does this work when you have so many servers trying to manage the same storage system at the same time? Well, the answer comes down to a simple question. Who's holding the book? It turns out there are two industry standard methods for sharing storage arrays. One gives everyone their own book to read at the same shared table. The second approach is to have one book reader and everyone gives him requests. And the reader is so fast he handles each of these requests in round robin style in what seems like parallel fashion. Each reader has their own book and simply shares the table it's group reading. For servers, each with their own dedicated file system on a shared storage array, it's a storage area network or SAN. If each SAN's a way to have dedicated storage resources mapped to a particular server over your storage network. Notice like the readers all sharing a table, there's no sharing of data. Everyone has their own book. In the case of a single reader reading to a group of listeners, when you have many servers all using a shared storage system to perform read and write operations for them, that's called a filer and the technology is referred to as Network Attached Storage, or NAS. Because SAN and NAS are such similar acronyms, this causes never-ending amounts of confusion. Out there are two the fact is, SANs are pretty easy to manage. In the old days, every server had a disk drive or a group of disk drives. Nowadays, many data centers use RAID storage systems connected into storage area networks. These are nothing more than a shared storage system capable of carving out partitions on a managed group of disk drives. So each server has one or more partitions which look like local disk drives, but are actually located on the shared storage array. You hook things together via Ethernet or a fiber channel network. With Network Attached Storage, or NAS, you have a filer. It manages its own storage locally and simply serves requests one after another from a group of servers attached to it via Ethernet. The protocol for requesting read-write services is known as NFS for Unix-based servers and CIFS for Windows-based servers. The difference between SAN and NAS, just like our who's holding the book analogy, is the SAN servers all own their own file systems and a NAS filer owns its own central shared file system and servers simply request read-write operations. So which approach is better, SAN or NAS? Well, sometimes the answer is clear. SANs do not allow book sharing or shared file systems. So if every server can live with its own separate data files and performance is important, a SAN is an easy choice. And if you wish to share data when everyone has access to the same book, then NAS, although not as fast or efficient, is definitely the way to go. There are ways to make SANs share file systems using special hardware and software referred to as global file systems. But that's an expensive and complex setup. Usually, global file systems are used in extreme performance environments like supercomputing clusters. There are also ways to make NAS systems faster and more efficient, typically by upgrading the network infrastructure or by adding solid-state disks to improve the performance and make all those parallel requests operate more swiftly. This is relatively expensive in most cases since it requires more network hardware or expensive SSD media. But there's a new capability that makes your life and the choices between SAN and NAS much easier. Unified storage systems are storage systems which are intelligent enough to serve up SAN and NAS functions simultaneously. One box does it all. And better yet, the storage resources are shared for both SAN and NAS environments. If you need more SSD or disk storage shifted from your NAS users to your SAN users, you can do it easily from a single operator's console.
life in the library just got a lot easier. It's a good thing to reduce complexity. In the old days, people had to pay for and manage two entirely different storage systems to serve up NAS and SAN services. They typically had two different sets of hardware, two groups of storage administrators, and two groups of network engineers to manage network infrastructure and security issues. This complexity and the need for different groups with different subject matter skills is expensive. But now, life is much simpler. Unified storage solutions, such as the ones Core Data offers from companies like Nexan, combine all these disparate technologies into one unified system, which easily scales to petabytes in size. It hooks easily to all your NAS and SAN networks, and all your storage is managed consistently on the same screen with a completely consistent management environment. Your team works with storage resources effectively and easily. And with Core Data and Nexan, it's all highly affordable. Hooks easily. Uh, Sean Houston. I am the technical lead for the bioinformatics core. Uh, as a public institution, it's very difficult for us to get money. So I started uh, asking around what was the lowest cost, fastest, easiest to use system that uh, was available. After talking to several resellers, one of them came forward and um, he told me that it would definitely satisfy all my needs and give me the performance I needed at a very low price. And he was right. Uh, and I've been a, a Nexan fan since. Nexan's value to my business is immeasurable. It's hard for me to really go into detail about how easy it is without contrasting and comparing it to other vendors' products and how difficult uh, to the point where one vendor that I have in place, their engineers do all the work. They don't want me touching their system because it is too difficult to deploy. The Nexan products, I redeploy anytime I want, however I want, trivially. It's not just that the products are fast, they are. It's not just that the products are easy to use, they are. It's not just that they're reliable, they are. It's all of those things put together that make it a better product. There's another way to benefit with unified storage systems. You back up and protect all your data in the same easy way. Nexan's NST storage solution allows you to snapshot any storage resources, whether SAN or NAS, to create a completely consistent image of your data, which may be used for backups without affecting the performance of your applications. And NST systems replicate from one to another, even replicating many to one, which makes disaster recovery solutions easier, whether the distances between systems are across the hallway or across the country. Here's an example of a unified storage system connected to the existing SAN and NAS networks. Here's the system providing NFS and SIFS filer services to a population of desktop and laptop PC users. Each user has a D drive on the system with fully protected files. Here's the same system providing SAN services to VMware, database, web, email, and backup servers. Applications run quickly since SAN provides the best performance for server-based transactionally intensive applications. Here's a second NST storage array at a second building on the same campus. Every 15 minutes, the systems automatically sync all updated data to the second system. Here is the disaster scenario. The NST system is taken offline by a freak accident in the data center. The data center forklift operator accidentally runs a forklift blade right through the center of the NST storage unit. Ouch! Here's the recovery scenario. All the users reacquire the data through the wide area network connection and are back up and running in minutes. With data that is, in the worst case, only 15 minutes out of date. Even with petabytes of data at both ends of the connection, it all works flawlessly. You know, it seems like systems have gotten a lot easier to manage since unified storage systems came along. They're less complex, they require less specialized knowledge to administer, they simplify your backup and disaster recovery planning, and they decrease the complexity of your network and security infrastructures. With Core Data and Nexan working to implement your unified storage project, 
you'll find that integrating a unified storage system with your existing backup software and scripts is easy using snapshots. And security integration with existing security platforms such as Active Directory or LDAP is also easy. The security configuration is menu-driven, and implementing a disaster recovery system with multiple NST systems, whether they're around the hallway, around the block, or around the country, is also pretty easy. In fact, we're all about easy. Less complexity, less work, less cost. As far as unified storage systems are concerned, that's all she wrote. This show, Conquer Your Mountains of Data, is all about data storage and sharing our experiences serving the needs of our diverse customer base. Core Data, a data storage systems integrator located in Herndon, Virginia, has over 13 years of experience serving customers in commercial, civilian, intelligence, and military settings. We also specialize in the unique requirements of classified data, research and development, and high-performance computing environments. In affiliation with our sponsors, we hope to bring you useful analysis of the many different data storage challenges and solutions we encounter and assist you, the IT professional, in finding new ways to solve new problems. It is our goal to help you, our viewer, conquer your mountains of data.